So once we set up our system configuration, the next step is the default user preferences. The default user preferences is where we will set up for new users how their profile will be set up by default. They ha they'll have the ability to change these settings, but if we want to kind of give the shortcut where they don't have to continually change these settings each user I each time. So by default it's set for Australia for instance and we'll be creating this for United States and um, so there are a little bit of differences here. Um, obviously English, uh, the Australian version it says we want to use the English US. Uh, you'll obviously want to do this for your own country. The tab box, tab box view or the flat view uh, essentially on the main page projects page you have different tabs that you can run across to look at different views of things or the flat view which is one single long page either yeah, I guess that is the best one uh, the short date format so in a lot of other countries other than the United States the its date month year um, this confuses us Americans so we typically want to go with the month date year to keep our sanity or the time format where you can choose between a 12 hour or 24 hour clock the currency format we will want to select the one with no title there uh, for US use interface style uh, the default is the clean style this is the blue that you see here you can go to a gray slimline um, uh, they're different uh, themes, I guess is the best way to put it. They're really the clean style is probably the better looking one that's available by default. So the next is the user task assignment maximum. So when a user is allocated for a particular task, what is the default percentage of time of their time that they're put into it? So um, typically by default this, it's a hundred percent so if one hour equals one hour of work if it's fifty percent then one hour of work will equal thirty minutes so on so on and here we have the default event filter we can set whether the user sees the events that are assigned to him whether they're uh, ones that he has created or the all events all the time permissions Grant, that are granted to him. Next is task notification method. By default we have do not include task event owner and then include task event owner so the owner would get an email by default. Now on the task notification you can always uncheck uh, at any time but by default it will be checked um, if you have it set to include. So as it's set, you now have to physically check the box to include the task owner on the notification. And the task log email defaults. On a task log, you have the ability to choose to send an email to the assignees or the task contacts or the project contacts. Um, by default, they're unchecked. As you see here, we've set the default as unchecked we can check these in any regard and that's how it will show up on any task log we, as we open them. So, The task log email subject as we've seen in the system configuration we can put in a, uh, a uh, prefix uh, to, to me that's pretty much all you need but uh, as we can also put in log file or something describing that it's a task log but uh, as the task log is sent, it's going to give the task, I believe it's the task name by default. Uh, blank is fine. And the task log email recording method uh, by default is set to none. To me, I like this set to append to log. And all it does really is add a little note when you send 
let's say you have uh, it sent to the task owner and you hit submit and it sends to the task owner it will add a little line on the task log that email sent on such and such date but uh, yeah very useful tool and then hit submit